uh, hi everyone so let's talk about one more example then we will talk about objects getters and setters okay this is the person and we already talked about this 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 is how we can actually create a private variables and through this function through this constructor of this person function we can create an object but only you can access get detailed access you can't access this because this is private you can't directly access first name and last name so the only way to access these properties is get details access this will give you the first name and last name okay now let's talk about an interesting example uh, is object getters and setters or the how we use this in the functions okay this is little different how we are using it so this is an example of class free object oriented programming in functions so we created a function this is a private variables and i am returning this getters you can say get function and set function so i will create so this is an anonymous function i will create an object of this and i will be calling get and set right just like the approach above we can use it to create an object like this const x equal to my obj and you can actually call x dot get right so my variable is essentially a private which means we no longer access it using x dot my value like in the other implementation above instead we have to call the getter functions to get the value okay so this is our difference here now if we if we talk about uh, the object getters and setters there we will get understanding so private member variables still now we were talking about functions how, how we can actually create a private member variables in an object so functions we have already talked about just another example of it i will just try to put that this is the same like rectangle here both are width and height are private and we can access them using just uh, prototype methods or uh, methods like get height set height here i'm get diagonal okay and here i'm calling creating the object and calling get area okay so this is how we can actually hide the implementation this is actually called polymorphism right private methods in the below examples are uh, here we don't have private methods here we have a private variables but we can also create a private methods which are not bound to this object okay like uh, here i will talk about this particular example which has uh, the private variables and private function i am just putting these examples because these are easier to talk about and we can quickly go through them these are the private variables these are public functions and there is a private function here bond so you can't directly call bond function you have to call another public function to access bond so this is what we are doing here this dot get bond here you can call get name you can't call directly bond function you have to call get bond here which will call bond function so inside this function i mean uh, this public function can directly call the private because they are in the same scope but up from outside you can't directly access a bond function which is a private so you will expose one public function after creating the object of the function you will call the public function which indirectly accessing this private functions and we are fine we are, we are getting what we need it's just a way of what we want to expose what we do not want to expose okay there are many examples of prototype we can keep talking like uh, how we are doing so now we are good like how we are creating a private properties or public properties how we are accessing them okay now if we talk about simple prototype how we are creating we are creating functions and we are adding the prototype property person dot prototype dot hello similarly you can actually keep adding these prototype methods the advantage of the, this is they have their own same same copy for all the objects which you are creating for the uh, for the person function okay and how you can actually extend the prototype properties of one function into another function we talked about this like i have a main function so main dot prototype equal to object dot create person dot prototype i mean there would be a function man 
okay i mean you can do it in either way also main dot prototype equal to new person this is also a way you can you can actually assign the object of the person to the prototype of a new function and uh, main dot prototype dot constructor constructor you can assign directly to the worker main function this is another way okay i mean i will just put both of these different ways set one or set two both are talking about same thing here okay so worker dot prototype this is how we are creating the prototype properties this is how we are adding the prototype properties in one function from another function so let me just see what else we can talk about the prototypes we have actually covered a lot of things okay that's it then i think uh, the next set of videos will talk about more on uh, some tricky javascript questions that will be based on some object copy object assignment um, different types and all okay thanks everyone